cannabis use could cause harmful drug interactions. Just for Today Guy News, February 16th, 2022. Today we're going to cover an article surrounding cannabis and how they interact with medications. I found this article at Science Daily. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see it for yourself. But yeah, to get started, we look. Using cannabis alongside other drugs may come with a significant risk of harmful drug interactions. New research by scientists at Washington State University suggests a group of substances found in the cannabis plant and their major metabolites found in cannabis users' blood and found that they interfere with two families of enzymes that help metabolize a wide range of drugs prescribed for a variety of conditions. As a result, either the drug's positive effects might decrease or their negative effects might increase with too much building up in the body, causing unintended side effects such as toxicity or accidental overdose. We're right here in the article. Physicians need to be aware of the possibility of toxicity or lack of response when patients are using cannabinoids said Phil Lazarus, senior author on the papers and Boeing Distinguished Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences. It's one thing if you're young and healthy and smoke cannabis once in a while, but for older people who are using medications, taking CBD or medicinal marijuana may negatively impact their treatment. And I know I've got a real good friend. Um, He's not in the program because he's not one of us. And that is a cannabis investor. And a big group of population using cannabis is that older adult population who these days and ages do take other medicines. So we'll go to page two. The findings were described in a pair of studies published in the journal Drug Metabolism and Disposition. One study focused on a family of enzymes known as cytochrome P450s or CYPs. That's right up here. Together, these two enzyme families help metabolize and eliminate more than 70% of the most commonly used drugs from the body. We're right here. While there has been limited previous research focused on potential drug interactions caused by cannabinoids, this new research provides the first known comprehensive look at the interaction between three of the most abundant cannabinoids. And we have THC, CBD, and CBN. And their metabolites and all of the major CYP enzymes. This is also the first known research that looked for interactions between these cannabinoids and UGT enzymes specifically. Right here. Cannabinoids stay in your body for only about 30 minutes before they are rapidly broken down. The metabolites that result from that process stay in your body for much longer, up to 14 days, and at higher concentrations than cannabinoids and have been overlooked in previous studies which is why we thought we should focus on those as well. The researchers used manipulated human kidney cells 
that allowed them to look at a single enzyme at a time and validated their results in human liver and kidney specimens in which many of these enzymes were present. They found that cannabinoids and the major THC metabolites strongly inhibited several CYP enzymes. One key discovery was that one of the most abundant THC metabolites called THC Kugluk, it's in here, which had not been previously studied in this context, appears to play a major role in inhibiting key enzymes in the liver. Liver. Looking at the UGT enzyme family, the researchers found that all three cannabinoids, but specifically CBD, inhibited two of the primary UGT enzymes present in the liver. CBD was also found to block three enzymes that account for about 95% of kidney UGT metabolism, which helps clear toxins and certain drugs from the body. We're right here. If you have a kidney disease or you are taking one or more drugs that are metabolized primarily through the kidney, and you're also smoking marijuana, you could be inhibiting normal kidney function, and it may have long-term effects for you, Lazarus said. Come down here. Taking CBD or marijuana might help your pain, but could be making the other drug you're taking more toxic, and that increases and toxicity may mean that you can't continue taking that drug. So there could be serious ramifications for anti-cancer drugs. And that's only one example of the many drugs that could potentially be affected by the cannabinoid enzyme interactions we're seeing. To close, Funding for these studies came from the Health Sciences and Services Authority of Spokane County and the State of Washington's initiative, Measure 9502, which funds the university's alcohol and drug research program. That's it, everybody. As you know, I'm just an addict. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Please do your own research. This is just an article I'm covering from Science Daily website. So I want to say thanks, everyone. I hope you like it. If you want more, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the description. We do recover.